What is up, my dudes? <laughs> Welcome back. So, you know what's fun? Rockets. You know, there's just something about letting your investment fly into the air at hundreds of miles per hour uncontrollably, you know? And uh, you know what's even better than that? Things that are rocket powered, because <laughs> they're actually controllable. So, it was 2 a.m. on a Sunday morning, I guess, and I thought, hmm, what if I build a rocket-powered plane, but not like the other YouTubers, in my special way? And that's exactly what I did with this thing over here. This right here is a rocket-powered plane, but the difference is that it also has a motor on it. The thing is that when you take off a lot of energy is wasted just to achieve flight, and I thought, why not just have it go up with the electric motor and then activate the rocket so less energy is wasted. This does mean that it is slightly heavier because it has to have a ignition system on board. However, I think this will be better in the long run because it will be more controllable and cooler. So, let's look over the design, shall we? Hey. Over here, we have a video to shoot, right? Okay, so the design is very simple. It uses a simple uh, flat piece of foam board in this triangular shape right here. Hey, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, so triangle shape, It. I kind of just came up with this uh, while I was half asleep, you know? The um, rocket engine is right here in the back on a 3D printed mount. And here is the ignition cable. It uh, passes a current from the speed controller on the inside to the spark plug in here, which ignites the rocket. This is safer, first of all, and it's easier because you just flick a switch instead of lighting and running away. So I'm just using a very small battery in here for just a bit of thrust in the beginning and two servos to make it very simple, two control surfaces. So this is a delta wing configuration. Now, as you can probably see, this kind of looks like a Concorde. So you know what happened to the Concorde, right? This is bound for success. Alrighty, well, uh, yeah, that's how it works. Let's get this flying. That was lame. As you saw, the rocket engine barely provides enough thrust to accelerate it. It just leaves a cool smoke trail. Now it's stuck in a tree. I was trying to land it, but I don't have enough control because it felt like nose heavy after I launched the rocket. But anyways, now it is drone retrieval time. Here, give it to me. Is it gonna get out of there in one piece? Yeah. Oh, is your camera still there? My battery is unplugged. Oh. <laughs> hey. Alrighty, so as you can see here, the rocket blasted back as it should. However, it left quite a mess. Over here in the prop nut is full of ash. Motor is kind of covered. The propeller is pretty nasty. Foam is peeling away, and the rocket engine is, of course, gone. I think that this is the reason why I crashed this because I was relying on the weight of the rocket engine to balance this thing out. But now that it's gone, it's tail heavy, so I couldn't pull up, and that's why I crashed into the tree. So now the plan is to add more rocket engines onto this because clearly. One is not enough, so I'll have to 3D print a few more mounts, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's the next day, and I have my rocket mount all printed out. 
you can see three rockets will be going parallel to each other. I added these lips over here so that when the rocket engine backfires, it doesn't come out of the aircraft and stays on board because this is tail weight that I need because without it, the aircraft becomes unbalanced, right? And yeah, this looks pretty solid, pretty light. Now let's just glue this sucker onto the plane and let's try again. Alrighty guys, it's the next day. I've modified this plane slightly. As you can see here, I have three rocket engines instead of one. They are wired in parallel, like so. This is really sketchy because I soldered it while the spark plugs were in the engines. And I also added this little ramp, which not only protects the motor from the blast, but it also makes this more aerodynamic because there's less air resistance. Also, I reinforced the nose area and balanced this properly so it should fly better. So uh, yeah, we have like 20 minutes of sunlight left, so <laughs> let's just launch this thing. All right, let's get this bread. Oh yeah, baby! Yeah. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God, let's go. Oh no. Oh, look at that. Jesus. So, as per tradition, this plane suffered the same fate as many Concords before it. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little uh, curvy. That's how I like it. But yeah, you know what? This was actually a success. Surprising, right? So um, the mount worked as desired. The rocket engines did not slip out as they backfired. Instead, this foam piece over here and the bottom took all the damage. It didn't harm the propeller or anything. As you can see, the propeller is still clear. Okay, and here's a question from uh, Gaming with Pros. He asks, tell me if the plastic melts. Well, the answer is no, the plastic did not melt. As you can see, the nozzles are narrow enough that the flame doesn't touch the plastic part. So that was a comment on my Instagram post. And yes, now I'm plugging in, plugging my Instagram. So if you want to have project updates and see what's coming up, make sure to follow me on Instagram at gvaskovsky underscore yt. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and share it with your friends. <laughs> yes, we're going back to those days again. Share it with your friends, damn it.